apparently have no choice but to do another roast. <laughs> my loves how are we doing i hope you're all doing good today i mean the people ask for it the people need it the people don't i mean they're not asking for it but like let's pretend um today we're gonna be doing another roast i've done two of these i've done roasting your bookshelves which don't worry a part two of that one is coming maybe in the next couple months a lot of you like asked and didn't get time to submit it or like wanted yours to be submitted so that will be coming, a part two of that. But we've done that. We've done roasting your favorite bookshops. Today, we're gonna to be roasting your favorite books. I'm ready. Okay. I'm ready. Whenever you're ready. I'm ready. Now, I wanna preface this by saying, for a roast, you have to enter it with like supreme confidence. That is not me right now. That is not me right now. That is not me right now. I'm fe I'm feeling a bit like I'm quaking in my boots a bit. Like I'm just not I I'm, I'm just not feeling myself the past couple of days. <laughs> I'm feeling a bit shit. I'm feeling a bit like nervous. I'm feeling a bit <laughs> So, I don't know how well I'm going to do at this. You guys are sending in your favorite books. Now, I said in the tweet if you're going to get offended, don't send it in. I'm gonna say shit. I'm gonna try and say shit. Also, I don't want anyone getting offended on anyone's behalf. These people signed up for it. If you're like, how dare you say that? This is between me and them and their favorite book. If it's also your favorite book, you're collateral damage. You're collateral damage, sorry. Sorry about it. Let me try and channel some confidence because that's what you need. I need to be funny. I don't feel funny right now. Also, I feel like I look shit. I'm just like not feeling it. I'm really not. <sighs> So let's get into it. Ah! <laughs> Janice! No! Janice. I don't think I'm needed here. <laughs> I mean, honestly, <laughs> the girl did it to her damn self. I think you guys are doing it to yourselves. Janice, do you like pain? Janice, mmm. We have a problem. <laughs> Here's the thing. A Little Life is so many people's favorite book. Like, they love it. I've never read it because I don't know if I'm just, I just don't know if I'm ready to do that, right? I don't know if I'm ready to put myself through that. But if that's your favorite book, whoa, you like pain. You like pain, Shanice. We need to discuss some things. <laughs> uh, girl. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> That's concerning. No, I'm genuinely not needed here. You guys are so, you, I don't need to say anything. Me and the audience need to look at each other and go, yeah. Go. Graphic design is my passion. Yep. Yep. Are we like in 2009? What is going on here? You're living on pure nostalgia here. This is not a favorite book in like quality terms. This is a favorite book in just pure nostalgia. Pure nostalgia. And listen, like I understand the appeal of nostalgia, but like, do we give that title to our favorite, like our favorite book because of this? I mean, you admit it to yourself here. Nostalgia, yeah. Why is my mouth stopped working? It's, today is cursed. Oh, it's like you want me to actually throw a fit. <laughs> Kendra, it helps their smart, lol. <laughs> Being a bit saucy. I can understand what's your favorite book if you feel, you know, represented and seen through this book. Get to Life, Claire Brown, I will admit, I believe is the superior, uh, why have I got the name of the Brown Sisters series, um, book. Oh, whoo, it's not going well for me. It's, it's over for me. It's over, my, ev everything is over. Bye, never see me again. Mm. <laughs> oh, okay. My Dark Vanessa and The Merger of Roger Ackroyd. Mm. If the Murder of Roger Ackroyd is one of my favorite books. Now I admit, it's good. It's like, I think my sixth favorite murder mystery, I think I ranked it as. But like, the book is good because of its ending. I don't think the bulk of the book is anything spectacular. It's like another small town murder mystery. The characters are forgettable. So Amy, I feel like mm, you only care about a big reveal at the end. You don't care about substance throughout the book. <laughs> One of my favorites, the writing was beautiful, the characters and story were excellent, and I haven't stopped thinking about it, I read it. Very excited for, okay, the covers, yeah. Possibly, oh, you can't see it. Where is she? There she is, my fair elite one. Possibly the most gorgeous book I own. The best, maybe the best in the entire world. Like genuinely, I know I need to read it. This is one of my top books. 
I don't have I don't have a video it fits in. I don't have a video it fits in. I need to think of something <laughs> that it fits in. Again, we could argue with these covers. I feel like a lot of people are like fall in love with the book because the covers. Style of the substance, mayhap, Sarah, mayhaps. I dare you. <laughs> it's my favorite book because of the local writing and the characters and the ending. Now here's the thing. Strange Dream with the ending is uh, I was gonna say something bad. <laughs> I need to think of a, a not controversial way of saying this. Um, it's a crime against humanity. It's a crime against humanity. In order for Strange Dream to be your favorite book, again, you have to like, there's problems with the pacing in the middle and you have to like, you're not a pacing plot girl. I don't think. Mm, I don't think. I don't think. I don't think. Because the lyrical writing is incredible, but the pacing in the middle, she goes off. Like the writing goes, you know, the book goes on a strange tangent. Like it's just a bit lost in the middle. So you have to really be a writing girly in general, the writing girlies out there know, to, for that to be your favorite book because you have to be able to overlook. Okay, here, okay, 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 okay. You guys are just coming in here wanting to be like, ha, Megan can't roast me. She can't roast me. She can't. Well, I can. <laughs> In order for the ones and future witches to be your favorite book, um, what can I say? Come on, humor, don't fail me now. Don't fail me now. Mm, don't fail me now. I can't roast it. I can't roast it. I can't. I can't. I can't. It's up there. It's up there. It's one of my favorite books ever. I can't roast it. I can't. I hate you guys. Why are you putting books in here that I gave five stars that I can't roast? Why can you guys give me some like three star books and I'd be like, I could call you guys crazy. But alas, 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 we have a problem. Um. Rainbow Rail. Rainbow Rail. We left Rainbow Rail behind a long time ago. Abigail. We left, we left Rainbow Rail behind a long time ago. <laughs> oh, okay, here we go. I knew this was gonna come up. This is def- I know this is one of your favorites. It feels like a true love letter to the murder mystery genre. The only thing I'll say is the Honjin murders. It is bonkers. I don't think it is a true love letter to the murder mystery genre because it is beyond bonkers in terms of any other murder mystery I've ever read. Like the resolution to this book is like, Excuse me? <laughs> so in order for this to be a favorite book of all time, you have to be chaotic. You have to be chaotic. You have to be chaotic. Oh, okay, right. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. The only thing I can say is it's a graphic novel. So like, again, we're style over substance here. Not that I, okay, mm, don't, don't catch me saying that Hustle doesn't have substance. It's one of my favorite books of all time. It's my second favorite series of all time. But I mean, what's in these four volumes is probably a novel's worth. That pained me to say, God, this is fucking hard. I hate it. I hate it. Let's bounce, girls. Shadow of the Wind. Now, I don't know a lot about Shadow of the Wind. I don't know a lot about Shadow of the Wind. But this reminds me of when I was 14 and I used to think I had to be clever. <laughs> and I would tell people one of my favorite books were Handmaid's Tale, The Kite Runner, and The Book Thief, which they were because that's the only, I only really read like that kind of literary tea. Do you know what I mean? That kind of literary spice, like, you know what I mean? But there's other books you can read. Now I could be getting this completely wrong. I don't really know a lot about Shadow of the Wind. Fake fan, sorry, fake bookish fan, but I don't know a lot. So moving on. <laughs> the Time Traveler's Wife. I watched the film when I was younger, <laughs> but I can't remember a lot about it. Um. Uh, um, wait, one prepares her. Does he know his wife when she's a child? Is that what, is that what is being said? Does that happen? He knows his wife when she's a child? Is that what happens? Girl, girl. <laughs> Oh, okay. It's been a long time since I read this. I read this on holiday. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> mystery discussions about privilege, family dynamics, a literal house on fire, what's not to like. P.S. I don't condone arson in real life, Bessie. Listen, oh, I condone arson to me. C to me, to me. That's it. I'm leaving. I read this on holiday in Croatia and it was a great holiday book, but 
Is it giving me enough to be my favorite book of all time? No. It's giving me enough to be a fun holiday book, fun, like read in one sitting, gripping. I do need to read more Celeste Ink. The Hobbit. The Hobbit. The Hobbit. Mm. Mm. No, no, but it's not <laughs> funny. At the end of the day, is it? It's serious. I'm scared of people who like The Hobbit, Lord of the Rings, like is their favorite book, because I just don't believe you can like me. You scare me. I'm a bit intimidated by you. I don't want to have any kind of conversation with you because I think you'll just judge me. Um, is this too easy? Um, uh, um, um, is that a platypus? <laughs> okay. Oh, I hate you guys. This book was written by God and placed in the hands of Miss Erin because there's no way an actual human being wrote this fantastic book. Now, I loved The Night Circus. Five stars. I view it as one of my favourite books. I absolutely loved it. This is my kind of shit. I remember before I bought The Night Circus, people were telling me, misguided people were telling me, like, don't buy it. It's awful. Like, it has no plot. It's just, like, flowery writing. And now I'm like, you obviously did not know me because sign me the fuck up. However, I will say, I cannot remember literally anything that happened in the night circus. <laughs> I remember the circus, I remember some of the characters, but I could not tell you the progression of the plot. I can't remember how one thing leads to another in that book. I can kind of remember that in the Star of Sea, but the night circus, the plot isn't memorable. The way it made me feel is, the writing is, but the plot, I don't know her. I don't. The cleverest and most fascinating look at a totalitarian regime that I've ever read. Okay. <laughs> if this is a, like, totalitarian regime book, dystopian, I understand what they're going for with this cover, but Bestie, what is it? Let let's reverse image search this shit. It's not the picture of Dorian Gray. No. No. That's not about to tell- What is this? Who's gonna tell me what this is? Who's gonna fucking tell me? 1984. 1984? That was my first thought, genuinely, when I saw it. I've connected the two dots. You didn't connect shit, but- I've connected them. Okay, 1984. That was another book I would tell people was my favorite book back in the day, when I thought I was that bitch. Do you know what I mean? Like, I remember reading all this stuff in my English classes and like GCSE, and being like, oh, I'm literally the most intelligent person in this room. <laughs> All right, Amy, we have got a problem here because you go from a little life to one last stop. As your favorite books. Are you okay? Is this a cry for help? Is this a cry for help in that I don't know which direction to take my life because uh, these are two, like you're at a crossroads here. <laughs> I concur that Crooked Kingdom is better than Six of Crows. Much better. I agree with that. I agree with that and I cried as well. Um... But I think if it's your favorite book, I mean, let's be honest, it's a lot of people's favorite book. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. And not, I don't mean that in a good way. <laughs> I was born for this. It does portray fan culture well, I think, but it's the worst Alice Oseman. Are we all in concur, are we all concurring? Are we all concurring? It's the worst Alice Oseman. It's not the best. It's the worst Alice Oseman. Actually, no, Solitaire's the worst. Then I was born for this. Yeah. Yep. I gotta be honest, I don't know a lot of these books, bro. <laughs> Wait, someone else said Black Beauty earlier. I can maybe imagine that being my favorite book when I was like eight. <laughs> but now? <laughs> oh, girl. Right, this is where we leave it. This is where we leave it. This is where we're done. We're done. We are done. Why, firstly, are we so out of order? Dream the, like, why, mm -mm, not the right order. Um, I'm just, I'm just stalling because I don't want to talk about it. The Raven Boys, Raven Cycle is a lot of people's favorite. I absolutely do not get it. I absolutely do not get it. I <laughs> could not connect to these books no matter how hard I tried. Nothing made sense to me. It was not whimsical. I, I Let's not get angry. Let's not get angry because I, I wanted to love this, but it did not deliver. I'm frazzled, frazzled, frazzled. It didn't deliver in the way you guys thought it did. It didn't deliver in the way you guys thought it did. It didn't. Uh, Jordan, I'll avoid putting the gilded ones on here because it's impossible to roast the cover. But it's not impossible to roast the book. <laughs> 
<laughs> Jordan, you know how I feel about the Gilded Ones. Truth is, I am, you know, I'm I'm intrigued by it and I would quite like to read it. I've heard a lot of good things about it. But you don't, I know the Gilded Ones is your favourite book because you told me, you told me on the podcast, on the Patreon a couple of days ago and I know it is. And you cannot be forgiven for that. <laughs> okay, you guys, I'm going to leave it there. I did not get around to all of them, partly because I didn't know what all the books were. <laughs> <laughs> I love your books. I didn't know what they were and I was like, well, I can't say anything about it other than like the cover. Like, I don't know what these are. Wait, Chris Colfer, Jordan. Jordan, that's that's Kurt from Glee. <laughs> I love you guys so much. Please let me know in the comments what your favorite book ever is if you have one. I know that's a hard thing to decide. If you've gotten to the end, put the mic emoji because that's my new era, microphones, what? Anyway, um, I'm overheating, I'm sad, let's not. <laughs> I really don't wanna edit this video. Anyway, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. Thank you for watching, I hope you have a good day and I'll see you very soon.